Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So you guys, we are now at the vegetable garden. Y'all, look at this. Down here, they have some summer squash. And then right here, um, guys, the tag has fell over. And I am so curious to see exactly what they have, but I'm not sure. This actually looks like parsley, you guys. This right here looks like parsley. I'm seeing some green zucchinis. And yep, I lied. So one of them are, so down there is cilantro. So they actually boarded this with cilantro right here. Some celeriac right here. Then they have some winter squash right along here. All right. And then look at this. Oh, y'all. They have so many beautiful, beautiful plants here. Down here, they have some acorn squash called honey bear. Never heard of honey bear. So acorn squash, you obviously it looks like a little acorn, but um, this one variety here, I'm not sure if this is a dwarf variety or not because they do have this untrellised, so I'm not sure. But along the bed, they have literally put cilantro. So that's what you guys are seeing. Some Greek oregano that you see right here. Now this will actually run and actually fill in this area. And you can tell how they have things space it a lot closer than a farm, regular farm style garden will be. And they grow massive. So these are actually newly planted plants. So you always gonna have time in your garden to plant more veggies. So just you guys just keep on planting. What? <laughs> That's just, oh, that so just with, um, keep planting. Yeah, what is that? Um, weeping willow. Weeping willow. Yeah. <laughs> so down here, they have sweet mama. Sweet mama squash there. And then as we go along, they have some tango uh, celery here. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's simple. It's you know, it has everything has a space. They use every bit of this garden space. Look at, they use it all, the entire border to keep on planting. If you don't want to plant cilantro or things like that, that will go in and out really fast, plant onions or some type of bunching onion in front. Look at this. This is mini pumpkins that they have here. Then over here, they have some, some sunflower that is growing here. And then right next to this is they have some borage. Great to, um, to grow as well. Very beneficial for your pollinators as well. Then they have the Mexican sunflower. How gorgeous is that? Look at that, ain't that pretty? The Mexican, uh, this flower is so pretty. So, so pretty, look at that. It's gorgeous. And then over here, they have some bunching onions. So look, you can really, really pop in a great deal of plants. And right here is some dill, some red onions. And look how tightly uh, packed these onions are. If your onions don't have enough space, they actually will just actually push themselves straight on up like a torpedo, okay? Then in here, they have here some, some basil. Oh, I just, ooh, I just wanna do it. Oh, uh, Strawberry mint. Oh, I wonder what that smells like. It's like regular mint to me. Really? I smelt it. No, I don't. I didn't get no. You gotta rub it, rub it. You rub it, rubbed it. I was trying not to rub it. Your grass will rub it. It ain't gonna kill it. You, you smell the sweet undertone. That's different. We got so okay. We got the mojito mint. You guys, I'm really loving this big size pot. You probably won't even have to plant anymore. Look at this size pot. I think these are maybe 15 gallon pots right here. And look how pretty these plants are. Huge, okay, very huge. And this mint right here is peppermint. Really, I am so like. I'm 
Oh. Yeah, this is peppermint. Pe peppermint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we have some radishes here, some burpless variety cucumbers that are going to grow you guys up these trellis right here. So, they actually have some more. They got pink beauty radishes right there. Look at this. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And some cucumbers growing. And then what is this? This is exciting. You get to see how you can really push the envelope. You got some German thyme, some cosmos that are planted here. And they only planted maybe two or three uh, cosmos in this area here. And this right here, this German thyme is going to spill. Oh no. Run. <laughs> guys let's let me show y'all something we, I'm, I'm not gonna get too cold so but i'm gonna show y'all yeah well i'm not gonna get too close i just want to enjoy my vacay okay so right here is the which particular this is nasturtiums so nasturtiums are really good and i don't know if you guys know this you can enjoy the flowers and the leaves um they do have a kind of nice little kick to them as well but uh, they are really good to en enjoy you can enjoy the flowers and the leaves why not enjoy it all right and then they have here some yellow carrots that are growing uh this is a sweet pepper I don't even know how you pronounce that. How would you pronounce that? Goche? 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 Goche daughter? Capri. No, not that. This. Goche? Goche? Daro? 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 Roll with it. Yeah, we're going to roll with it. <laughs> we're going to roll with that, okay? And then we have some purple haze. This is basically uh, a nice purple carrot. All right, and then over here we have some just some sweet bell peppers called summer sweet, and then they have what's this sugar snack carrots that's planted. And I don't know if you guys can see these little fine lines of carrots, so you can always pinch out the ones that you don't want and then keep the ones that you do want. So, this is how quickly you can easily pack it in here. So this one right here is the giant Marconi. This is a sweet bell pepper, delicious pepper. If you didn't ever grow it, try to go ahead and grow it because I do have the giant Marconi in my garden. All right, and then last but not least here is they planted up some French marigolds along the bed and some curly uh, parsley with some eggplants. All right, and I think that it's absolutely cool with the Italian uh, dandelion. So. If you do not want to mess with your own dandelion in your yard, you can always grow it from seed. And that is the Italian dandelion. All right. And this what shocks me is that they are growing greens. And they have broccoli right here. Broccoli right here. Some purple cabbage. Red cabbage. This is the red cabbage. Red cabbage. And what is this one? This one is amazing amazing mm -hmm. what is it though cauliflower That's what it, says. it just says oh amazing it yeah like cauliflower it's like cauliflower cauliflower and this is some more marigolds yeah french marigolds and the french marigolds so this is really nice you got some snapdragons that are growing great mm -hmm. pollinators as well that's in this pot now this is a what they call a triple headed rose it is so look crazy. at that triple headed rose Gorgeous. Ah! I would be broke if I ever get my hands on anything such. Because where I live, you guys, the variety is slim pickings. So you get the particular, the same varieties. But uh, yes, here I get to see it all. But I'm glad I guess I don't have them. Because <laughs> I'll be broke. Oh my goodness, Trishon, look what they did here. They popped in some potato vine. I was just about to go look at that one. Now, this is the purple. Deep purple potato vine. It almost look blue, don't it? Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. Yes. 
It's really but this pretty. pot is massive, you guys. I can't even imagine. You see that what they have to anchor this uh, this hanging basket. It's a lot. It's a lot. I really like how they put the coleus at the top. I definitely think I'm going to use some of these ideas at the house. So, all right. I'm heading off, you guys. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful scenery. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. On If I do come back, you guys, and film a little bit more, I'll just pop it in a little bit later. But right now, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys.